Today, you're going to learn how to tie the bare bones stone, the fastest and easiest stonefly pattern known to mankind. You can find the complete materials list with links in the description. Feel free to mix up these materials to make different variations of this pattern. I call this pattern the bare bones stone because I try to simplify it by using as few materials as possible. Start by loading up your vise with a Hannock 450 or similar jig style hook. This one is a size 12 paired with a heavy 3.8 slotted tungsten bead. Starting just behind the bead, lay down a bed of UTC 70 and stop before the bend of the hook. The thread color isn't that critical on this fly because it will be covered up. Tie in a single strand of silly leg material. Put a few turns of thread to separate it into two sections. Here is an overhead view so you can see how I'm separating the tail. Once the tail is secured, wrap your thread all the way back up to the bead. Insert your wire into the slot of the bead. I like a heavier wire here to show the segmentation through the dubbing. I also like the wire to add some weight to this fly. Next, make a dubbing noodle with the light hairs mask dubbing. When you are dubbing, apply small amounts at a time. A little dubbing goes a long way. Apply small, even amounts to form the body of the fly. Now, take your time wrapping the dubbing noodle up the shank of the fly. I like to keep the body thin and even all the way up to the bead. Once the body is dubbed, use the wire to create the ribbing of the fly. Again, I like to use a heavier wire here because it shows up through that hair's mask dubbing. You create the look you want with the materials you have, just make sure you are counter wrapping your ribbing to add durability to the fly. I'm going to trim the tail now, but you can do that at any time to get it the length that you want. To get the thorax started, use the same method to create a dubbing noodle using the golden brown dubbing. Again, you don't need these exact colors. Just try to pick colors that are contrasting. We have a lot of golden stones in this area, which is why I choose this color. Only apply a small amount just enough to change the color. Don't let this get too bulky at this point. For the next step, grab a long strand of the silly legs and tie in on the side facing you. Don't worry too much about the length quite yet. You will adjust this in a minute. Silly leg material around the front of the bead, pinching it in place to form a loop. Now tie it in to secure that loop. Let's watch that again, but this time from an overhead view.
Now complete the thorax by adding another layer of the golden brown dubbing. Make sure to cover the area completely. Get a few turns behind the loop and in front. When you're satisfied with the thorax, go ahead and start your whip finish. You can bury that black thread under the golden dubbing and secure your knot behind the bead. To create the legs, snip the loop in the middle to create two front legs. Then bring all four legs together in front of the bead and make one cut to create four legs of equal length. Here's what that looks like from the overhead view. For the last step of this fly, add a drop of black UV coating to the thorax. If you don't have black, you can use a Sharpie to darken the dubbing and then cover it with a clear UV. This is a ridiculously simple way to make a wing case for this fly. Well done. You've just tied the bare bones stone, a simple yet effective stone fly pattern. Vary the sizes, the weight, and the color of this pattern to find out what works for you on your local water. As always, thank you for watching. If you've been following me for a while, hopefully you are noticing an increase in the quality of my videos. I know I'm having a ton of fun learning, much the same way I do out on the water. If you like what you see, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to receive all the latest and greatest content from TroutStrike.com.